Hello and welcome to another video. So today we are checking out a Shadowcraft deck for Unlimited, something a little different. We're going with a Lord. I haven't tried a Lord Army build for a little while, and some of the new cards does make it fairly functional. Uh, I mean, the Ram and stuff, generating the extra uh, Natur and Great Trees, really cheap, really easy value. Uh, uh, Sacrosanct Spirit, Helio, really good since he generates follower on our turn. It means we can pretty much guarantee him something on board. Which works really well with Skull Ring, of course, being the 4 drop to generate 3 things for the Lord Atomy to use. So, obviously these games are going to be focused on our early game, since once you get past that, it's really hard to recover. But we should do fairly well, so let's get right into it and take a look. So, going to this, realizing this is not going to be a super long video, because of course the games that we're showing are reasonably quick. Plus, there's not too much to really show off with this deck, as if you lose out in the early game, it's very hard to make a late game recovery. So, of course, we got a fairly decent start off here with Lord Adamly Skull Ring and the Sa Sacred there. We were going to do really well. Obviously, I decided to drop those two. Ended up with the Helio and the Mecha Wing. I just needed something super early since we are going up against Rune. I do prefer, actually, though, to have a good setup for turn three. That doesn't always work out, but when it does, it's pretty wonderful. So a pretty casual magic missile, and a not so great draw actually, I was hoping something better. At least our turn 4 should basically guarantee Lord Atomy at this point, since if they destroy the 2-1, or if they don't, we're going to get the Lord Atomy out. So here is our good chance. Of course, we're going to at least generate some value here. So once the Lord Atomy hits the board, getting any last word effects you can is always really good value. Like, we've guaranteed that we're going to have a 2-2 summon at the start of next turn, which is great. Even if we lost Lord Atomy here, we're going to at least have that. Deathly Tyrant also isn't bad if you do get dragged out, so you do have something to recover in the later game, but you really only get one good chance to use him, and you really need to take it when you do. So obviously the best thing here though is that we can get 10 damage with Lord Atomy now, dealing 12 total with the zombie, so we're pretty much set as far as that goes. And we've generated a decent board, especially against Rune, that we be forced to waste at least 2 or 3 cards to get rid of Atomy on its own normally, so that's always a good thing early on. Leading to a very easy concede. So coming up against Sword, we're going to have a very similar kind of matchup. We're, we're mainly aiming for that early enemy play as much as possible. So that's really what you want to mulligan for as hard as you can. If you can get it in the early hand, usually we will be pretty set. In this situation, I decided not to... Mainly because I had uh, Fount of Angels and Throth, which are both really nice draw cards, so... I honestly wasn't too concerned. Plus, I've already got decent cards to deal with Swords early game here with Desert Pathfinder as well. Fortunately, Atomy on turn 2's draw is actually really good. And I probably should have went for Desert Pathfinder instead of Throth there, but nah, it still worked fairly well. Especially with the Mecha Wing and the Fount of Angels play, giving us that little bit extra push. Could have done 3 damage, but this is still well and truly respectable. And now Lord Atomy will trigger a double draw thanks to both our Amulet and Throth guard, so... Again, can't go too wrong there. Getting the Necro family as well, always nice. Mars really isn't a threat. Which is great. I don't mind seeing Mars. Especially since, of course, how do you deal with an 8-8 on 3S sword at the moment? You really don't. Although Frontline Cavalier is a really good option. Healing up to keep themselves out of range. So I don't really have a way to get in range of this right now. I do decide to go for the Helio. Since I can at least use that to remove something here. Getting rid of the Mars is probably the best idea. That way at least I can generate a 4-4 next turn, which will of course not have Storm, but will be able to attack due to the way the order of operations for the summoning goes. So the Lich should work well. And the White Paladin here does get sacked into the Atomy. At least we are using a lot of their value up. We do still need to get past this though, and with the 4-4 on its own, it's not really going to be quite enough. So we have about a 50-50 on if we can get this or not. 
Actually, I think, you know, we guaranteed it because the Evo on the fourth floor would guarantee us no matter what. So as I said, it was a short video, but a fairly decent one as that. Those games both went really well. Of course, you will have games where you just brick and don't get out of me. Those games, you can nearly write off more often than not, but because there are some decent amount of draw power in this deck, some pretty decent followers in general, things like Necro Family really do make up for it, and Deathly Torrent to potentially give you a really good out at the end of the game, you've definitely got the options, and this seems to do fairly well in the current at Metascape. I haven't got a chance to use this against Haven as one of the more popular decks, but everything else I've come up against was usually 50-50 on if I could win or not, based on the opening five turns of the game. Usually, if I'm in a disadvantaged spot, it's not easy to recover and it's not worth continuing, but overall, it was fun. Definitely recommend giving it a go if you've got the cards to do so, or you're just looking for some good old uh, Lord Atomy kind of style. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button subscribe. You'll find the deck list in the description below. Until next time, guys, see ya.